So today we're looking at hooking up TouchOSC with Resolum. So I've got TouchOSC, clean start here, and Resolum Arena. Just open up a quick basic uh, demo show. We're looking at connecting them together and building out a basic control interface. So in TouchOSC, I've got a clean canvas here. Um, first of all, we need to make sure they're linked up so that they're communicating over OSC. So clicking on the link icon here, see there's options for connections. I want to connect over OSC, so I'm going to turn on connection one. And looking over at Resolume, I'm going to find out what my OSC connections are. So I need an OSC input. I'm going to use the OSC output as well. So I'm going to use the OSC input uh, port number 7800 and outgoing port, I'll call this 7801. Now I'm just going to open up this preview window here and clear it so I can see if they're connected. So this will show the incoming OSC messages. So over on Touch OSC, uh, my host, this will be my IP address. I could type it in, but if we click browse, if we're lucky, it might actually even show up here. So Resolume Arena, um, I've got two network connections it's on, but I want to connect on this one. With this port, it won't give me the receive port, so I'll type that in. 7801 is what I used. And that's connection one. So we link. All right. So now I just need to put something in. So right click to create a new item. I'm going to choose just a fader for now. Basic fader. Make it nice and big. And I just want to see if I'm actually getting anything from Touch or C into Resolume. So look at both here. I'll just start the run mode. If I move this fader, I can see stuff's coming in into Resolume on this feedback here. So if we look close, it's just setting fader 29. So that's the OSC address we're currently sending. So we jump back into touch OSC, try and change what address we're sending. So if we look down the bottom here, this is our OSC address here. Uh, so we're sending slash fader 29, which is what it is pulling. So the actual address down the bottom here, address slash name. And this name is actually a uh, reference tag to another object. So what's this actually? what this is actually pulling it from is the name up here. So we could just put the whole address in here, but we've got this extra slash and it gets a bit complicated. So I'm just gonna delete that name for now. And what this slash is, if I delete that, it's actually a constant. So add a plus, we can add a property. So this is where we pull the property from somewhere else. But I'm just gonna choose constant. And what that does is give you a little box down here to give me a constant value. So whatever's in here won't change, it's constant. It's not gonna be pulling any dynamic data. So we send that constant value, which is why that slash was in there. So I want to find a OSC address to control Resolume. So back in Resolume, I can close out of this now. And I want to send this fader. So I go to Shortcuts, Edit OSC. If I click on the fader, I can see uh, down here a list of tags. So there's Resolume gives you two sets down here. Um, the first one is the direct OSC address directly to that fader. The second one is selected layer. So it'll actually send it to whatever the selected layer is. It'll control that fader. I'm going to control this one directly. So I'm just going to select the first one and copy that. And I can get out of edit OSC now. And back over in touch OSC, click on that constant. And down the bottom here, I can now just delete that out and paste that in. Control V. So slash composition layers video one opacity. So if we look up here on this purple line, it actually shows you what that compiled address is. So sitting that, and then the last value is this argument X. So what it's actually doing is pulling the value from this fader, which is done under the values tab here, value X, and it's a float value, which is what Resolume wanted for that anyway. So if we go back again and run this. So running my fader, uh, Resolume, we're now controlling that fader in Resolume. And if I go back in the other way, I can actually even control the fader in reverse from Resolume because we've got that outgoing OSC port. Now, so we could build out the whole thing like this, copy and pasting every value. But the reason why Touch OSC has this convoluted little address field here is because you can use that those tags to quickly build out something without having to copy paste a lot of data. So for example, say in Resolume, right now I've got three layers, I'll drag it out so I've got uh, eight layers running here. And so back in touch OSC, I want to create eight faders for this. Rather than doing a single fader and then copy and paste it, I'm going to use this grid option. And you can see where it's giving me four faders here in a two by two arrangement. So 
I'll just set up that quickly. And if we move down the list here, uh, grid is where it chooses. So type is fader. I want it to be eight by once eight across and one up. So I've only got eight faders there. All right, so moving down, now I need to set an address. So right now, you can see the address is pulling grid slash I X. And so the grid is coming from the parent name and those slashes are in there. So I've already put in my constant. I'll change that again. So I'll paste that in. And looking at this value, the number one is what needs to change. So that refers to the actual layer. So layer one. So what I can do is in this console, I'll delete everything, including the one after that slash. And so just complain the first part. I don't need the parent name. I'll delete that. But what I do want is this I value. So where that's coming from, that I is actually the index. So just here, index. So I can, if I delete that out now, and I'll add that in again. So I just want to add this index value in, so that I. So you can play as layers slash I. And now I need to add the constant afterwards. So I'll go add constant. I'll change this. I'll paste in that address again, but I'll delete everything in front, including the one. So deleting that and the one. So now if we look at the add OSC address here, it's actually building it out. So that's the full address I for the layer and it's building out the rest. So now if we go into uh, arena and run this, we should be controlling layer one as usual. Layer two is working three, four, five, six, and so on. So I've just built all those out rather than have to change all of that every single time and copy and pasting all those layers and they're still working in reverse as well. So looking at touch OSC, it's a very quick way of building these out and you can keep doing it. So anything that's kind of got a repeated value like that, we can build out. So let's build out some more controls. I wanna be able to control um, a few parameters per layer. So I wanna be able to select my layer and I wanna use my dashboard controls and maybe there's a few other buttons I wanna have in there as well. So let's look at building that in touch OSC. For this, I wanna use a pager. So I wanna create a page. And what I'm gonna do is have each layer will have its own page of our controls. Cause maybe there's different controls I wanna set up for each one. So first of all, I wanna have eight pages to match my eight layers. So I'll just keep adding in pages here until I get to eight. There we go. And I want these numbers right above the layer so I can use them as a reference even that layer. So I'll change the orientation to south so that they're at the bottom. I'll bring this up so I've got a bigger canvas here. And so now I want to, the idea is I'm switching between these controls for my layer controls. And there is an OSC here. So right now the OSC is just sending the name and what page it is. But I want to use this, I want to actually use this in Resolume to change what layer I've selected. So it jumps to the selected layer. So if I've got a, a preview happening, I'll be able to see whatever's in that layer when I click preview, bring out the values. So I need to get the OSC value of this selected layer here. So edit OSC and here it is, composition slash layer slash one slash select. So I'll copy that and edit out. So in touch OSC, I'll change my constant first to the full thing so I'm not really working with. And I need to select the page number. So I'll say there's a value for that. So I want to delete name, I don't need name. What I need is what page it is. So value and page, it's actually pulling a page value there. So I'll delete the rest of that page and I'll add another constant afterwards to complete the address. So I'll paste that address in again and delete everything, including the number. So it's just a slash select. Uh, and the argument, I don't actually need any page number here. And I can leave that blank because if we look at Resolume, it does actually need a value, it just needs to receive this address. If I test this one now, you can see it's working, but not quite. There's something odd about these last two. So look at these values here. The selecting the page, it's sort of a value of scale of zero to one. I'll just sort of value of one to two, and you can see it's actually selected layer late eight here now. So just selecting what the value scale is. So one to two seems to work. It's giving me a value of eight in here, which is what layer I'm on. If I select these, you can see it's changing the address as it should. So if I run that now, you can see now I'm selecting each layer with the page. And the benefit of this is, this whole page area actually has different parameters in it. So if I go in here, 
double click, I've opened up that page. So I'm in page one at the moment. Now I wanna add another grid. I wanna add all my dashboard controls. So there are uh, radial faders. And what I should do is another grid instead. So I'll do a grid. I'm just gonna fill up the whole thing all the way across there. But I don't want faders. This time I want them to be encoders or radial. And again, I need a grid of eight by one. I'll scale it till they sit basically where I want them. And now I need to get the values for these faders. So right now my OSC is taking all sorts of values here. So parent name, blah, blah, blah. What I actually want is back in Resolume, I'll check out my OSC addresses, edit OSC, layer one, link one, uh, dashboard one. So just the first one, so I'm selecting specifically to layer one. I'll copy that back over to touch OSC. I'm just gonna paste it in for starters in that first constant. So directly in there. And so I've got my multiple values here, layer one, dashboard link one. So I can take a couple of values here. So rather than building it out, first of all, I wanna grab this as page one. So rather than have to put this on in every single page, if I do copy and paste it somewhere else, I wanted to pull that page value. So if I delete this, I'll delete all these other values for now. So now the last part, link one is what I need to change. So I'll delete the one out. I'll change that to an index at the end there. So, and now if we jump back out, so right click to exit the container. So that's just on page one at the moment. So we run this and look at Resolume. There's nothing in there, but you can see those encoders are changing and, I, and as I change pages here, I'm changing pages in Resolume. All right, so I've got my dashboard controls, eight dashboard controls, they're getting their values nicely. Now what I wanna do is I want to use these dashboard controls for every layer. So I've got eight layers and that'd be a lot of addresses to figure out, even if I just go through and change that one, I'm too lazy for even that. So I wanna be able to change that dynamically with these tags as well. So I'll see what tags we've got, so property, We've got this parent tag. So right now, if I add the parent in, I can pull the parent name. So the parent name, if I look at this value here, is grid. So I don't want grid. I need to go higher than the grid. What the next one above that? So I go property, parent, parent, and I want to take that name, which is just a one. So that's actually the page number. So I can move that. I just cut out everything after here and move that in. And I'll add another constant to finish the tag there with the last part for the dashboard link. So don't just delete the one out and move that in front of the eye. So you can see we're just going composition layers and we're closing off, so layer one. And so if I go to page two, actually I'll copy and paste this first. So Looking at we're building it out, composition layers slash one coming from that parent name slash dashboard link and then I for the index value. So I'll just copy this and I'll go to page two and paste it in. And if we look down the bottom, we can see it's now pulled the number two because that page is named two. And it's pulling from the, the name value of that page. And now I can go through and do that for every single page. I'll just click and paste. All right, and right click, exit the container. I've now got those dials on every page. See so if I change, I start running it. If I change one and switch between pages, those values are held over. And now looking back at Resolume, you can see there that back and forth communication is working. Dashboard layer one, switch over to layer two. We can see they've changed pages here, changed layers here. And we see layer two, if I set some values and then switch back to layer one, there as well. So I've now I've got the dashboard controls for every single layer very quickly. And we've still got the back and forth communication. Unfortunately, uh, layer selecting doesn't send an OSC message back correctly for it to switch pages here. So it won't actually switch these pages for you. And so we could add extra stuff in here. We have specific layer buttons if we wanted to. Maybe they've got a stroke button for a layer or even a clip select. So we could do a quick select bank as well. So I just want to add eight clip selects in here. So I'll do another grid for that and I'll drag it out. Again, I want an eight an eight by one grid, but this time I want uh, buttons. All right, and moving down to the OSC section, again, I wanna just pull these values. So looking at Resolume and I wanna launch a clip. So looking at the 
OSC for clip launch or clip connect is what it's called here in the OSC address. So I'll copy that and again, I'll just paste it in that first constant field. Just paste that in that first constant field. I'll delete everything else for now. So I don't need a parent name. Uh, so what I want to change with the index is this number one here, that clip slash one. So I'll cut that out and I'll drop in that index value and then bring back another constant and close that off with the connect value. And I can delete the one out of that. But now I actually want to pull this number one, I want to pull that again from my parent parent. So I want to get the property of my parent's parent name. And if I cut out that clips, so cut that and delete the one layers slash parent name, I'll add another constant to put back in that clips value, which is what it should be just before the number. And now that should match my OSC value that I had before. So again, I'll exit out of this and check that it's working with Resolume. Layer one, clip one, clip two, three, four, five, six. Now I see they're turning off because they're only set to momentary at the moment. So I'll have a look at that grid again. So right now the but they're buttons and they're set to momentary. So we'll set uh, toggle press. And now if we run it, it'll toggle on and off, but it's let me turn them all on. And that's not what I want. I want it to just let me choose one. So there's another option for that. And that is toggle press and just above grid exclusive. So we choose that now, it'll only choose one of those values. So running again, exiting that container, running it and just looking at Resolume. You can see we're now triggering those clips. Now Resolume will send feedback back of the clip sleep, but unfortunately the way it works in OSC is it's releasing that value here. And I'm not sure how to make that stick on so I can see which clip is currently playing. Now thing I might like is we might like use this preview button down the bottom here as well. So let's look at building that in Touch OSC. So I'll exit out and I'll make these buttons just a little bit smaller. So I'll jump back into my edit mode and I'll scroll these ones up. I want them a bit big and I want a little preview button just underneath. So I'll copy and paste that. And I'll set this one, I'll change the color so I know it's the preview. So I'll make that a, a light green, just those properties here. And I want to steal the uh, preview address, so which is just clicking the bottom part of that. So edit OSC and click the bottom part. And that's clip select. So I'll just choose that OSC value at the top line. Know the address, I'll jump down here and I'll add a new constant for now, just so I can see the whole thing. So I'll put it at the end and just put my full address in there. And let's see what I need. So I've already got the composition layers, so I don't need that. Composition layers slash one is done. Actually even clips is done. So it's just the very last one I need is to add that slash select. Everything else is already done for me. So I can delete this. I'll change that one to slash select. And now this whole value, that whole row should work. And so now clip select, but I want to preview that layer. I've got my preview down the bottom here as well. All right, so now I've got, I can actually just copy and paste both these. So shift to select both, or I can drag around them. So I've just got those two copy. And I'll just jump between layers now. So pasting them all in. Again, it would be nice if there was a way to kind of do this iteratively, but it's still a lot better than copying and pasting every single OSC address and then realizing you've gotten one wrong. So this is because it's all doing it for you. All of those should now work. If I go back and run this, with Resolume, I'll choose some clips. So I'm in layer eight at the moment. I'll jump down to layer one, choose some clips. I can fade it in and out, jump into layer two, choose some more clips. And I've got my dashboard controls that are relevant to the selected layer. Now I'm gonna see if I can get this connect to my iPad. First of all, I need to just check they're on the same network. So this little network button up here, I need to start a server for it to connect to. So I'll enable the server. Close that, that's all I need to do on the computer. Now on the iPad, uh, I'll click the same button, that server button, and if I look for servers under client, I can see my computer name there, I connect. 
and straight away I'm up and running and I've got my full layout there straight from the computer. So looking at Resolume, there's a bit of delay with my video sync, but it is working in time, real time I assure you. So layer clip selects up here, just flicking between some clips and the preview buttons work just fine and all my dashboard controls. All right, so that's helped. That's uh, hopefully that's been a help for you. You can see I connect everything up to Resolume from Touch OSC. Um, we'll make this project available. So in the down below, you'll be able to download this finished project file and then play with it as you like. Just make sure you've got all the right connections set up to talk to your devices. If you have any questions, let me know.